Hello and welcome to another video. So this one is going to be my first testing, my first impressions on the new Samyang 135F 1.8. I'm back in Kilda and I think we're going to be fighting the wind tonight but I'm hoping to get um, as many shots as I can on the 135 and then later on in the night catch the Milky Arch on the 24. So that's the plan um, just to like put this lens through its paces tonight. We'll see how it goes. Right, so I've just had an hour on Cygnus uh, that looked really cool in the back of the camera and then I put the H-Alpha filter in and done 15 minutes on Cygnus. But now it's time for the Milky Arch, so um, the 24 is back on. I'm just gonna grab the arch now and then think about some foregrounds. Yeah, my Milky Way, that looks mint. That arch looked really good. Really happy with that, I think. Um, so now I need to try finding it at foreground. Uh, but what I'm gonna do very quickly before the core, before it gets too bright, is I'm gonna stick the 135 back on and just shoot the core. Might be good. And then I need to get a foreground. Right, I think I've got a foreground as well now, so I think I'm happy. Um, I will have to do another um, another segment after this, so I, after I've looked at those 135 images on the computer, I'll, uh, I'll have a look at those and then we'll catch up, see what it looks like. But yeah, cracking place this, absolutely fantastic. Airglow behind there just looks like, yeah, it looks like Northern Lights, looks amazing. Right, anyway, uh, it's been a good night. Right, so, sorry, it has been two weeks since I shot that last bit of footage. And um, and I've been I've just been so ill like I felt I've been so rough I caught COVID and I've just been really not well for the last two weeks so today's the first day that I felt you know well enough to be able to shoot and my second day of testing negative but anyway what we're going to do is just going to have a quick look at the images that I took on the uh, on the 135 and I've obviously I've edited these photos you've seen them in the video up to this but I haven't really done any. As staring at pixel peeping or whatever you call it so um, let's screen record okay okay I think I'm recording right so let's go and have a look at those 135 pics of um, Cygnus okay so I think I think I'm screen recording just go have a look now at basically the center of this Looks like I might have missed focus a little bit, but considering it's that, that far out, doesn't look too bad focus wise. And then let's have a look in the corners. I mean, wow. This looks, wait, wait, have I edited this? No. Sharpening off. Oh, there is there is some um, vignette removal. Let's put that back in. Just reset it. There we go. Oh, okay, so I've done some color correcting on it and some vignette in. Um, but looking at that, this looks like the old 135 does a little bit softer in the corner there, but really. It does look like I've missed focus a little bit. But looking at those corners compared to the middle, yeah, they're not they're not perfect, but that looks bloody good to me. And that that looks what the um what the old 135 looks like it's just the same all the way through the image there obviously is a little bit of vignetting on there because I took some vignetting out of it but really that's not a whole lot is it I 
That is decent. Really, really decent. So, um, yeah, I mean, this is wide open as well. What have I shot at? I've shot at um, 1.8, ISO 1000, and a minute to get that. And like the amount of detail you're getting with a minute. That's the, uh, I can't remember what it's called, thingy nebula. Crescent nebula, I can't remember what it's called. There's some serious detail in that. Oh, with the HA filter as well. Like the difference, like <laughs> the HA filter is just absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. Cannot recommend it enough. Yeah, it just looked, yeah, it looked like a dragon to me. On the night to kill the dragon, it looked amazing. Right, let's do a quick look on that. Uh, 135 image of the um, Milky Way core. So that one is 30 seconds, ISO 800, 1.8. So I'll shoot it wide open again. And we'll just zoom into it again. There was definitely some air glow that night, if not some northern lights. Okay, so yeah, so first impressions are that this is really, really impressive. Again, it just reminds me of the um, the the old 135. So this, yeah, this looks great. Right, cool, I'm gonna leave it there. What I'll do is I'll stick some RAWs um, down below so you can grab those RAWs and have a look yourself. Um, I haven't quite hit focus, which is a bit unfortunate, but at least, yeah, at least, there's, at least the RAWs will be there, at least you can see, and that close up there. It, it, for me, first impressions, this looks a very exciting lens, so I can't wait to keep shooting it. But the only problem is now that I've been out of the game for two weeks, it's it, once we get into May now, which it is, we um, we basically have just constant sunlight in the north. So I'll either have to do some trips down south to get some dark skies, or I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm going to shoot not to lucent cloud with the 135. I'm not sure. I'll have to figure something out. Anyway, the, there'll be a, a more in-depth review with the 135, and it will be compared against the older 135. So, yeah, exciting times. So if you made it this far, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you again soon. Take care.